I spend a lot of time talking about PCOS as a fertility expert. This is because it is extremely common and it is very relevant. 10% of the population has PCOS and whether you're trying to conceive or not, it's really important to your health. PCOS can impact your fertility by making your ovulations irregular and hard to predict. But did you know that PCOS can also have a profound impact on your general health, both mental and physical? My name is Dr. Lucky Seacon. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and REI. Let's get into it. Many women with PCOS will have a tendency towards something called insulin resistance. This means that the cells in your body are a little bit resistant to the effects of insulin, which is a hormone produced by your pancreas that's responsible for controlling and storing sugars. This means that your pancreas is going to work overtime and churn out a stronger insulin signal. And this can have effects on many different parts of your body. It can change the way you store fat. And this means storing more fat around your midsection, which is known to be a cardiovascular risk factor. It can make it harder to lose weight. High insulin levels act like a growth factor on the ovaries and lead to high testosterone levels, which can cause a variety of problems. Diet, exercise, supplements like inositol, medications such as metformin are all ways that we can sensitize our body to the effects of insulin and try to reduce this insulin resistance. I wanna mention that GLP-1 agonists like Wagovi and Ozempic have been a game changer for many of my patients with PCOS who struggle with their weight. This is definitely something worth looking into. PCOS can also affect your skin and your hair growth. Now these are two things that can have a major impact on your self-esteem and your general quality of life. High activity of testosterone where it's in overdrive can lead to acne that's hormonal and also male pattern baldness where you have thinning of the hair and excessive growth of hair where it shouldn't be, like on the upper lip or different parts of the body. Anything that combats insulin resistance in general is going to help with these side effects because they are going to indirectly reduce the testosterone levels or the activity of testosterone, but it's important to enlist the help of a dermatologist who is familiar with treating patients with PCOS. They may use medications like birth control, spironolactone, these work to directly lower the effects of testosterone. But also there are medications like metformin, which via control of insulin resistance can also control hormonal acne and make hair growth better. Unwanted excess body hair can also be adequately treated with laser hair removal. Okay, here's a surprising one. Women with PCOS, are thought to be at an increased risk of developing obstructive sleep apnea, especially later in life. And it does tend to have an association with the weight gain that we see with PCOS, but there are also many studies that control for obesity and still find this relationship. In one particular meta-analysis pooling the results of 12 clinical studies, they found that women with PCOS had about a 9.7 times increased risk of developing obstru obstructive sleep apnea. This is important because sleep is integral to our health and our quality of life. And we know that women with obstructive sleep apnea have a harder time with insulin resistance, have a harder time losing weight, and are at an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. So if you have PCOS and you're feeling excessive daytime sleepiness, you're having sleep issues, go see a sleep specialist and get a sleep study done. You may be a candidate for treatments like CPAP, which can help you breathe better at night. And finally, mental health risks. We know that women with PCOS are predisposed to problems like depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and OCD. The mechanisms behind this aren't exactly quite clear, but it is well known that the overall comorbidities, the impacts on your general health that seem to increase with age, and the quality of life issues that we've talked about can really compile and lead to some of these mental health issues. So it's important that if you're struggling with any of these types of issues, you enlist the help of a professional and that you're focusing not just on the physical aspects of PCOS, but also the mental health ones as well. PCOS is not just about your fertility. You should really take a step back and think about your overall risk profile, the things you should be looking out for, get regular checkups with your doctor, and have a low threshold to involve specialists. 